Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how 2D tile map collisions can work in the new tile map system of Unity 2018. So you'll see over here in the hierarchy that I have a tile grid created and two separate tile maps, one of which has a tile map collider and the other of which does not. So I'm calling the one that does not path, inferring that you can walk on it normally. And then the collidable tile map is called collidable. You could call it walls or whatever. And that's going to refer to all of the tiles that you should be able to collide with and not be able to walk through. So if you don't already know how to add in a tile map, you would do that by right clicking on the hierarchy, going to 2D object and then choosing tile map from that drop down list. In the beta version, they also have hexagonal uh, versions of the tile map. But if you want the 2D top down standard sprite perspective, then you want tile map there. Now, if you don't already have a grid added in, the grid will be added by default and all of your tile maps will go under that grid. Then in order to start drawing onto that tile map, you can go up to window 2D and tile palette, which will open up this separate window. So just going to gloss over this really quickly, but in the tile palette, you can drag in your sprites from the project window and and then they'll get placed onto this grid where you can select them and start painting onto your scene with. So these tiles are going to get added onto the active tile map, which you have selected over here, active tile map. So if you want to make collidable tiles, it's important that you change the active tile map to the tile map, which you're going to add a 2D tile map collider onto. So what I'll do here is on this new tile map we've created, I'll just add in some walls over here on the left. And now I'm going to go back over to the inspector for that tile map. All we need to do is to add component, search for tile map and tile map 2D collider should show up. And what you'll notice if you add that in is that all of those tiles that were drawn on this specific tile map are going to have a, that's essentially a pixel perfect box collider going around the tile. And those colliders should prevent your character from being able to pass through them as long as your character has the proper setup of having a box collider and a rigid body 2D. And so the only adjustments you'll need to make from this point is to remember to draw onto the tile map that does not have the collider when you want that tile to be able to be passed through and to draw onto the collidable layer when you don't want to pass through it. So let's go ahead and hit the play game button and we'll be able to demonstrate these colliders working in action. So I have this dog character and I can go up to the wall at the top here, which has the tile map collider 2D. And also now on this new layer, we can collide there as well. But as you can obviously see the ground layer, which is the path tile map here, we're able to pass through. And then other objects like this uh, tree over here has its own separate collider from the tile map itself. So hopefully this video has helped you guys to get tile map collisions set up properly. As you can see, it's going to be a big time saver because you won't have to go into each individual tile in order to define tile map collisions. So I've been Chris. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my future Unity content.